Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. I am here with no makeup on, on a very, very hot day, sitting in front of our ring lights. So we're gonna make this quick, but I am going to go over my TBR for June. I am filming this early because I wanted to have my TBR filmed and ready to go up while I'm at BookCon. So as you're seeing this, it's Friday. Chelsea and I are on our way to New York and we are on our way to BookCon. And these are the books that I will be reading for the month of June. One of these, at least, will probably be coming on the trip with me. I am leaving myself a ton of room to read books that I'm excited about getting while I'm at BookCon. So the stuff that's on here may change. I'm not doing nearly as many buddy reads because I really want to leave myself time to mood read. And last month I got really burnt out on buddy reads. So I do have a couple of buddy reads, but the majority of these are going to be just me reading these books on my own. So let's jump right into my TBR. I have six books in front of me and then I have to do my jar pick. So first up is 145th Street. This was a part of my drunk book haul. And this is a collection of short stories that all center around the same couple and like the same neighbors on a block. This is an old one. I think it was 2001, but it's super, super short. I think I should be able to run through this no problem. And I did say that I wanted to read these so that I could report back to you on the books that I got in that haul. So I do have a couple books from that book haul in this month's TBR so that I can get through these. So I'm going to start off with this little guy because I'm also just feeling kind of like contemporary, which is not normal for me, but I'm feeling contemporary. So we'll see. Also, I said that I was going to be buddy reading this with Dylan in the month of June. This is Collateral by Ellen Hopkins. I don't know if Dylan still wants to read this in June, but that's the plan. If not, I'm still going to try to work my way through this. This was another one that I got in the Drunk Book Haul, and I don't like Ellen Hopkins, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. This is like a giant behemoth of a book, but it's told in prose, like little poems on every page. I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate it, but I'm going to read it and we're just gonna see. So this has to happen in the month of June so I can just get it out of the way. I also have The Museum of Heartbreak by Med Meg Leader, and Chelsea read this, Chelsea loved this, and she suggested that I grab it. I got it from Book Outlet, it was super, super affordable. It should be like a really cute, quick contemporary, and I'm planning on probably taking this with me to New York because it'll be a great like train ride kind of a book, and I can just chill with it. I'm also going to be reading First and Then by Emma Mills because these two books together look gorgeous. They've been like sitting up on my um, bookshelf like together and they look so pretty that like I can't read one without the other. So I will also be reading First and Then. I love Emma Mills in theory. I loved This Adventure Ends. Was not as big of a fan of Foolish Hearts but I wanted to give this one a read too and just see what I thought about it. But again it's just a really quick contemporary all of these should be relatively fast reads. Then I have one that I will be buddy reading with some of my friends that get um, ARC books. And then I will be reading Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nang. This one comes out in October, but I really want to like read this right now. I don't know why, but I am feeling it. The cover is stunning. I know next to nothing about this and that's kind of the way that I want to go into it. I was intrigued by the cover. I was intrigued by other people that were getting ARCs of it and like kind of talking about it already. So a couple of my friends do have ARCs of this. We're going to buddy read this in June. I don't think we're going to read it until later in June, but I'm very, very excited to get to that one eventually. And then if you saw my video earlier this week, I will be reading Circe by Madeline Miller. This is a Greek mythology story. That's all I know about it. That's all I want to know about it. I tried the first chapter, really enjoyed the first chapter. So I'm going to add this into my stories for June, which means that of the six books that I've picked so far, two of them are fantasy and four of them are are contemporary, which is rare for me, but I'm gonna run with it. Then we're gonna have one of my TBR jar picks, and that's gonna be my TBR. We're gonna wait and see what I come back from BookCon with. I'm sure I'll have some kind of haul after I get back from BookCon. If I pick up books there, which I'm sure I'll pick up books there, whether at bookstores or at BookCon, and then we'll see what I add to this. But for now, oh God, please be good. Please be good. Oh no. Okay. All right. It's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. It is Snow Lake Ashes by Sarah Rash, which I have had for so long. And I love her as an author. Um, I follow her on Instagram. I watch her stories. I'm super invested in her, it, like just as a writer, as a person, but I've never read anything by her. And now I have to. I know exactly where the books are. They're buried in my bookshelf. I'll be right back. 
Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush. Um, I don't know anything about this. I know that it has like warring factions or courts like that are seasonal based and there's magic in them. It's a fantasy. A heartbroken girl, a fierce warrior, a hero in the making. Can Mira save the world she's never truly known? I don't know, but I will by the end of June. So this one's getting added to the TBR. Damn you TBR jar. But that's my TBR for June. Let me know if you're interested in buddy reading Cersei with me. It'll probably be a little bit later in the month, but that's gonna happen because I am very excited for that one. If anybody else has like been holding out on Snow Like Ashes and you wanna buddy read it with me, definitely let me know because that will super motivate me because right now I'm like a little mad at myself for picking that one. It was not an easy like quick contemporary that I could just fly through. So let me know if you're like the only other person in the world that hasn't read that super old series and you want to. I would love the motivation to go ahead and do that. So uh, comment down below and if there's interest maybe just the two of us can buddy read it if it's like not a ton of interest and uh, we can talk about it on Twitter while we read. Let me know. That's it for this TBR. I will see you guys in another video when I get back from BookCon. I'm in BookCon right now. Ha! Ah! So excited. I've already hugged Chelsea. Be jealous. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.